Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a disassembly video of the Seagate Wireless Backup Plus. So I have the Wireless Backup Plus 1TB version. So I want to open this up, remove the hard drive and replace it with another one. So a lot of people don't even know that that's an option with external hard drives. So you can actually take the hard drive out of external hard drive. So I have a few. So you can actually take the hard drive out of them and then replace it with your computer. So I'm going to take the hard drive out of one. Actually, uh, I have one over here. So I'll take this and put it in that and then uh, show you how to replace the hard drive. So this is going to be common for uh, most of the hard drives. If you have a Western Digital portable one, that you cannot do anything uh, with that because that one uh, the connector is actually soldered onto it here uh, the connectors are removable so i'll show you that also over here so let's go ahead open this up uh, make sure it's off now this is a wireless one so if there's a battery and stuff so i have to be more careful so let me open this up now to open it up there are four of these rubber tabs now three of them have screws the uh, last one does not have any screw so let me just remove the tabs first Okay, three of them. Now, you just need a regular uh, star screwdriver. You don't need any fancy one. So this one does not have the other kind of screws. So it's easy for you to open. Now, let's just remove this tab. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open it up. Now to open it up, you'll need a plastic prying tool like this. Now, if you don't have this, then you can even use a debit card or something or a card which you don't use because you'll have to pry into it and then open the tabs like that. So when you do that, if you use a metal thing like this, which I actually used the first time, so this is what's going to happen. So you'll have this mark. So you'll have all these marks over there. So that will not look good. So to avoid that, use a prying tool if not use a card or something where you can just put it in and then slowly open it up now if it's a very thin card it'll break so make sure you have a stronger card so i'll use the prying tool so the side should be easy to open up a little like that see so that's how it opens now one tab is opened and that's it so it's that easy if you have the right tool and now uh, the case will not have any marks on it. So that's the hard drive. Now let's remove that. Okay, so there's a thin cable here. Make sure you do not pull it. This is going to be very dangerous. If you break this, then it's going to be difficult to get a replacement part. So remove this first, remove the connector first. Now it comes off, it's a little hard there so that's it now the hard drive is separate so, okay let's take a closer look now so this is the internal of the wireless hard drive i'll not open it up more there's nothing wrong with it so i'm just uh, changing the hard drive here so uh, this is the entire battery now you have a 2900 mAh battery so that is pretty good not that bad so around four five hours of continuous usage would not be a problem but this one can actually be used while you're charging it. So, uh, so you can keep it uh, charged with a power bank and then keep using your hard drive that way too. Now, since this is a moving hard drive, uh, there will be heat produced. So in case you want to upgrade this, I would suggest get a SSD hard drive and then put it into this. So this will become an ultimate wireless uh, hard disk. So that's my aim later on. I'll actually try doing that. Now, these are the four tabs on the corners on the screws that we have to remove. Done. And just slide it out. So that's it. That's the hard drive. Now this is a 1000 GB hard drive. So 1 TB. So let's remove this. Keep this aside. Now one thing you have to remember is this one has a plastic uh, film because this is metal. So, so that it doesn't short. So you'll have to remove this and put it onto the new hard drive. So if you do not do that, then this might short and then your hard drive might go bad. So let's take another hard drive. So let's go ahead, uh, remove this. On the 
key is slowly don't put too much force okay now make sure it aligns that's it and done now we just slide it in Now, because it's a slimmer version, newer hard drive, the power efficiency will be much better. So my wireless hard drive should be giving me more uh, battery life and uh, the speed should be faster. So let's hope so. All hopes here. Now, uh, when you're putting the screws back, don't tighten one first and then the other one. I just uh, keep all of them to one limit and then tighten it up after that so don't over tighten it that's it that's it, that's it. That's it. all done now all i have to do is put this in over here okay before that let me just put the tabs back it's easier the tabs are back now I put this okay let me just show you properly so it goes in like that no it doesn't <laughs> okay it goes in like this that's it all done now there are these tabs where you have to put this back in and I'll just simply keep it on top and it will slide in so that's it hard drive is done uh, before we close it let's just test it let's see if it's actually working let me switch it on okay so uh, I've tested it uh, it's working fine so I'm connected with my Wi-Fi and that's my hard drive now it shows me all the files I can just browse through it I can see all the files now uh, it shows me all the folders so everything is working fine let's go into settings see the uh, hard drive size okay it's on system about okay so it shows me 1.63 tb used 193 uh, gb available so 10 percent is available rest has been used so i just replaced the hard drive i took a, a hard drive with data in it and then put it over here and then I'm using it directly. I don't have to format it. I don't have to do any of those things. So it'll work uh, as it is. So uh, that's the way you can actually replace your hard drive on the wireless uh, uh, one TB one. Now, how is it going to be useful for you in case you want to buy the two TB hard drive and then uh, uh, it's more expensive than the one TB one. All you need is the case. So if you get the case, the wireless case, uh, you can upgrade the hard drive anytime you want. You see that uh, I showed you that there's enough of space. So it's for a big hard drive. It's not for a slim hard drive. So you can actually get a four terabyte hard drive and put that also in it and then use it that way uh, and uh, replace it the same way and then use it. So, so that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.